so we finally got our hands on a Evo 10 spoiler and luckily it's the same color as the car so I don't need to paint it. Now with the OEM spoilers they're all in different pieces can be fully disassembled and then you've just got an alloy arch that it all assembles to underneath. I'm not gonna dismantle it and fiddle around with all of that. I'm just gonna do a simple uninstall and install of the factory spoiler and yeah installing this Evo 10 spoiler. This is the factory spoiler that we're going to remove and it's only held in by four, four nuts I'm pretty sure. Now this spoiler is a, a EVO low profile spoiler so it is an official EVO 10 spoiler but you will see it on most of the common Lancers, Galants and uh, GSRs just certain trim levels get it. Um, but yeah, so if you didn't buy an Evo 10 with the sight and sound package or the, the triple S package, you would have got the spoiler instead. I'm guessing the spoiler side is the sight. Um, so yeah, we'll see how the install goes. I need to clean my car. Might do that later today. So this one, this one, this one, and this one. Pretty simple. Um, so this one's a nut, this one's a bolt, nut, bolt. So you can see quite notably the difference in size. That one's only about yay tall, and that one goes quite substantially taller. Very similar with the middle bit. They're, they're very similar spoilers, but one's just taller, and one's just shorter. But this short one as well is all one piece. Yes, it looks to be. It's all one piece, whereas, yeah, the Evo is multiple pieces. Cindy! Spoilers leaking. So we've just cleaned down the, the fixing points for the spoiler. And yeah, we're all pretty happy. I actually kind of like how it looks for the spoiler. A lot of people go for that look. 1,000 subscribers and we'll turbo this. Like and subscribe down below. Like and subscribe. So we did have to drill a hole. Uh, it was already cut out uh, with the secondary plate, so it was pretty easy to find out which, which spot it needed to go into. So I'm just gonna paint over these and prime these up so that they're not gonna rust. Yes. So we've installed the wing. 
the third hole would have to be drilled, but it seems to be very secure with just the mounting box that we've already done. So I'm just gonna put these covers back on and maybe do that a different day. You can always do it if you want to be perfect. It's also quite nice to get a perfect condition wing with no problems. black undertone you get with it. it just matches all my blacked out stuff these are v-land tail they they light up and animate they're pretty cool I've also got these led reflectors but they're not wired up to anything and the blacked out high stop tail light boot trunk light whatever you want to call it should we put a evo 8 wing on the lancer comment below and let us let us know what we should do to it.